And we stand today on the edge of a new frontier, the frontier of the 1960s. 61 home run for Roger Maris. In God's speed, John Glenn. Zero G and I... You're out of order. You're out of order. You're out of order. The whole trial is out of order. They're out of order. Let's make a deal. Let's make a deal. Hey, Frank, you want to make a deal? I got an insane judge who likes to beat the shit out of women. What do you want to give me, Frank? Three weeks probation? Damn it. Great Al Pacino. Doing Brad Cooper. Yeah. No, Amazing. <laughs> you don't want to be loved no more. I don't want to be loved no more. I don't want to be loved no more, Jackie. Get away from me. Mind your business. Mind your business, Jackie. No more. Jackie. No more. Mind your Jackie. No more. Ambassador no more. Jackie. No more. You know what? It was easier to negotiate the peace between the PLO and Israel. Yes. Poor Jackie. You know what was funny? Uh, Cause Pat, I would like to, uh, to negotiate the peace. <laughs> he turned to Gary and he said, no, Larry, get away from Larry. Right, right. No, Larry. You know, in the other speech, he called you Larry. Yeah, it was fire. That is great. Yeah. When fire, Scott Einziger Lord. was talking to him, he called him Barry Galabate at one point. <laughs> I love Pat. Sam Kimison. He got Barry Galabate in there because he got to take that from him. He was the definition of seeing red. Yeah, he <laughs> really was. Pat, don't leave. I don't want to come on the show. Just, 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 oh, oh, get, get. Pat, just take a deep breath. Oh. Come back. Come oh. on. Oh. Pat, I can't. I love when he calls everyone the wrong name. I think you said Mary. Larry. 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 No more, Mary. How no could you be more, mad at him? Mind your business, Lackey, joke man. No more. No you got to get him back on the show. Uh, I, I would love to. That's your job. If you don't get Pat back on, you're fired. Why don't you call him? I'm not coming on your show. Why don't we call no, Pat? Larry. No, let's, no let's take a break and call no, Pat. Yeah, yeah, let's try. Like, let's ask if he's thought this through. Like me call him from outside or like we call him live on the air? I'll call him live on the air. Because you obviously can't handle it. He needs to hear from you, actually. Right, so right, right. True. I'll, I'll, uh, maybe, no maybe more of this Larry. Maybe no he more. thinks this is funny. No more. No, I the doubt truth it. is, you love him. We all love him. Yeah. You've never... I don't want to be loved. I don't want to be loved. I don't I don't be loved. He never really had... He but really doesn't have a lot of common sense. Not though. only do I love Pat... He's got to really be shown common sense here. He's, he's not thinking clearly. Not only do I love Pat... That's why I don't hold it again. I respect him. There you go. No, I really do. No, Larry. I'm a bunch of... No, you don't, Larry. You know why I respect You know why I respect Pat? Shut up, Larry. You know what he does? He's given money back. You know when he tells us stories? Right. Somebody irritates him and say, hey, I don't think he did a good show tonight. Pat takes the money and gives it back. No one in the world does <laughs> that. No, Larry, I'm a bundle of money. No more. No more. No more. No more. No more, Jackie. No Mind your business. We love you. I don't want to be loved no more. All you guys will love me. Meanwhile, the is all turning around pushing him aside when you need a man. I don't want to be loved no more, Jackie. I don't want to be loved no more. That sounds like Abner and Costello. I don't want to be loved. Just push him aside. I don't want to be loved no more. I don't want to be loved no more. I told you not to be stupid. Do you think he's sitting at home read, watching old movies? I don't know. He sounded like Abner Costello. It's a business joke, man. <laughs> I don't want to be loved no more. I don't want to be loved no more. Play <laughs> base. You got those three guys in there set me up. You can't do that because I get dignity. I get dignity. <laughs> I don't want to be loved no more. You want to do don't f love me. That's your bill. You get 90000 That You have to take that f <laughs> Jackie, all you get is 90000 No wonder you're complaining. And you have to yeah. take that crap. Boy, oh, boy. I didn't think it was time to negotiate salaries. <laughs> <laughs> 90000 oh. is The doors are closed. The beep, the door, what happened? The doors just closed yeah, right now? The beep is the sound of the elevator doors closing. <laughs> he finished We're all scared statement. to get in. We're all scared. It's like... That must have made for a great shot. Oh, as the right. camera's on him, the elevator doors just closing. He's still yelling. Goodbye! Goodbye! Go, go! Oh, the poor baby, and he was in there all by himself. Oh, oh yeah, you get in. <laughs> yeah, Jackie, yeah. Jackie wouldn't go in with him. And, and I, that was the decision, Howard, because he was in there for a few seconds just before the doors closed. I had to make the decision because there was nobody else getting in because I was there and everybody else was over there. Had I got in, it would have been just me and him. And you know, I like that my favorite part is when he starts yelling about um, uh, Richard uh, Lewis. He's an icon. Yeah. But I'm funnier than him. <laughs> On his turn. He's bigger than me. He should be grateful. It's that he's greedy. Right, right. Yeah. Richard, Richard Lewis was greedy because he didn't like what I said about him in the book enough. <laughs> 
<laughs> we got to call him next. Yeah, let's try. Well, I'll straighten this let's, out. Let's, let's try. try and straighten it out. We'll, we'll be back right after these words. <laughs> mattress that's you know listen it's fun what we do here on the show and we're having a good time and you know we have the whole pack cooper thing going on but you know what the real important part of this show is 1-800 mattress because <laughs> really if people don't call that they're making a big mistake they're talking about saving you money now we're talking about dollars 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 is your microphone on does it now matter we're talking he, does, about dollars. There you go. he never gets in front of it no <laughs> 1-800-MATTRESS. You dial that number within two hours. I don't care if it's a weekend. 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 1-800-MATTRESS. Two o'clock on a Saturday morning, you could get a mattress delivered to your house. Your convenience. Your convenience. Your convenience. Your convenience. Mind your business, Jackie. Oh. 1-800-MATTRESS. <laughs> 1-800-MATTRESS. <laughs> 1-800-MATTRESS. 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 Call now. Thursday.